Good day, you guys. Monwini, it's been a while since I have spoken to you guys. Let me switch the radio off. Before indoors, the copyright is in for mine. Moleni, guys, oh my gosh. I missed you guys so much. Yeah. Okay, so today is the 19th of October. It's a Thursday. I am currently working from home, as you can see. I'm currently working from home, guys. Um, I've been working from home this whole week. I don't know if I can put you guys here. In okay, so I'm currently working from home. I've been working from home this whole week. Um, because M7 and Zini, they were doing some electrical installments or something like that. So I think they asked everyone to just, who works in the offices, to just stay at home or rather work from home. Uh, really grateful for this because this week, the weather, <laughs> the Sabandi. It's been so cold, like today I think it is 17 degrees or 18 degrees, but Kuzaumneta, so it's very dark outside. And for those of you who don't know, we are currently in fall. They call it fall, but we call it autumn. Um, heading towards winter. I do not know what to expect. I've been told that I am going to die, and I think I am going to die because. Doing in South Africa, I can't imagine man's out in the So yeah, um, I've been working from home this week and I've enjoyed every second of it. Um, I've honestly been more productive, I would say, here at home than I am at work because, firstly, I do not need to travel to work. I do not need to prepare myself mentally for ukuba and also everything that I might face on the road. <laughs> And also, I don't need, you know, to just pack lunch and prepare for, like the whole preparation, basically, mentally and physically. I don't need to do that. So I have more time on my hands and I'm more comfortable. I'm more warm. And the distractions, so I really feel like I'm more productive and I actually work earlier and I sometimes work later than my time, um, my knock off time. That's what's been happening this week. Man. and then um we are currently in the process of moving guys um i don't know if i ever told you that elicia to apa is ending end of october and today is the 19th we literally have only two weeks left in this apartment by the grace of god we found a place guys <laughs> i don't want to say much because i feel like i want to talk about this when my boyfriend is around so that he can remind me about maybe some of the things that I might forget to mention but um we found a place by the grace of God it's been such a struggle first of all for those of you who don't know there is a housing issue in the Netherlands there is a surplus of people and a deficit of housing um so we struggled and we even struggled more because we don't have much of a credit record and other factors that are obvious. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah, anyways, um, that's been the issue uh, at hand. But we found a place by God's grace and we need to move into the place where we're going to collect our keys next week. So we're practically going to have two places. Um, in the preparations for that luckily it's also a furnished apartment which i'm grateful to god that we got because we're not going to be able to afford to start buying new things because the new place asked for um two times the rental amount as a deposit which really we didn't like expect or budget for we budgeted for a one month deposit so yeah we're in the preparations for that during as a preparation game life game like one of the pipes underneath the sink decides to start leaking. Guys, that sink has been working very well this whole time. And then all of a Sunday, it decides that it's just going to start leaking. An unnecessary cost. My boyfriend is trying to fix it, but I'm worried we, we, we might need to get someone to fix it. Or we're going to have to tell the landlord about it. And then he's probably going to take from our deposit, which we were planning to use for the new place because guys we had to try and find funds to pay for the deposit and the rent at the new place first of all it deposit here to see but the was round about 3300 euros right close to those amounts that's over 66,000 rand 
and then we just the rent for November, which is 1,400, I think. And that is around about, what, 30-something thousand, if I'm not mistaken. Sipa, kweza amount. Imagine, yo, tibansa la mal. So now we were planning that, okay, once we get our deposit, we're going to use it for the new place. But now, if this is what's happening, there's a possibility some will take a deposit, which is stressing us out. Yeah, in those obo mizinja logisana, such is life, guys, such is adulting. In like as pili, as long as pila, you will rest when you die, son. But um, yeah, I just thought I should give you guys an update. This is probably going to be part of our we are moving vlog or whatever. Um, yeah, and we are moving to a town that is close to where we stay. We stay in a small village called Obstervik, and we are moving to Buxton. So, yeah, guys, that is that. I think it can be in the Oh, and Johnny did libal. In the midst of all these financial struggles and financial problems that we are going through, Nancy can walk in Netherlands in Tumelama ticket a fine so babin speed. Johnny, like, guys, I never speed. Okay, I speed in South Africa, or I speed in South Africa, but. Upper and speed are cool only when I'm rushing to work, but I don't go over a hundred kilometers because upper was strict. So apparently, I was driving on 95 in a, I think 80 kilometer road or area or something like that. And when you dig it, there was a 92. The tickets all together, I have three tickets, guys. The tickets all together are close to they're like 450 something euros, which is like around over 9,000. These are the times when I miss South Africa. Guys, you know, <laughs> but I was literally crying a couple of weeks ago because it means it means kuningi guys kuningi and by two ka by two and a half, which is a lot on you know he's an extra cost on top of the cost that we already have. But in any case, um, kuningi guys, and sibai tu se But in any case, the point I'm trying to make is that these are the times that we miss South Africa. These are the reasons why we miss South Africa because in South Africa, I never got a ticket, guys. I could dictaki le dunga melem sevenzi use speed, obviously driving safely, but I never got a ticket, guys, in South Africa. I never got a ticket for even going over 120 kilometers per hour. So I, yo, in other words, sometimes I feel like I love the way that everything is orderly, but sometimes I feel like I too much. Country, I know what the too much. But yo, it's true when they say we don't know what we want as humans because we want we want the order, but at the same time we complain when the order is there. I really appreciate the order. I love it, but sometimes I feel like it's too much. And bye bye. But in any case, um, that's been another stress because now we've got the new moving to prepare for financially. I have to pay for these tickets by December. <sighs> and then there's this sink that we need to sort out. So yeah. Anyways, I just thought I should update you guys. I think this is where this vlog is going to start at. I thought I should update you guys. And more than anything also, I didn't want to come here on Kubone Ispirit Samsulo because someone asked me the other day, where are you? You don't post any videos, whatever. And I was like, yo, they are going. And I didn't want to come here and get negativity. In as much as I am genuine about the challenges that I face and I'm realistic about it, but also, I don't like, I want my channel to be a place of umkoho or a place where I'm always sharing about my struggles. And I don't want my channel to be a sad channel. I want someone to look forward to watching my videos. So yeah, anyways, I'm talking a lot. That's just what I wanted to tell you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Morning, guys. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. I'm waiting for him to come because um today we're on our way to collect our keys um and do the viewing um at the place that we're gonna be staying at. So so you can along the lay on go send him linda logam seven in YK and then as soon as Sikaiba uh passes our payana then unfortunately I have to go back to work. 
afterwards but yeah no trains mesh i guess i will show you guys and how everything is there i'm really crossing fingers and i hope it's in a proper condition and because andes versus our team if ever it's not because like i think this weekend next weekend yeah so yeah guys i'll catch you guys when we get to the new place it's not far from where we stayed I think it's like probably like 15 minutes or 10 minutes away from where we stayed so it is an added extra time for us to travel to work and daycare but we'll just have to wake up a bit earlier and try and beat traffic basically yeah so i'll catch you guys in the next so we're in the car now we're just waiting for a moment just we're going to drop our suitcases off at the new place and then to our boy did you know must man petum dan and zuko zu patala suitcase in pain patum dan yeah so we're going to drop off the suitcases um at the new place and then we're gonna come back we managed to pack some stuff into the suitcases and i think in total z4 suitcases because you lose tight and then um we'll obviously leave with the rest classes yamba officially we're just trying to go to room toilet because as if ever we pack them all at once so yeah boy that's what we're doing and that's where we're going Okay, you guys. Need the light on. Clearly, someone is liking the new place. <laughs> yeah, guys. So we have arrived. So we brought those two small ones, Payana. And then we also brought a Zinkul Z2. Yeah, we're just going to leave these ones for today and then go go. Officially, when we move in, we'll bring the other ones. Not this little man almost breaking a vase. Guys, yo, in the Mm It's a vase, it's a zipayan. The color block. I, yeah. We literally had to move them up. Yeah. I don't know if you yeah. can see, but some of them were like in the middle shelf and the bottom yeah. bottom shelf. So we had to move them up. Yeah. He literally yeah. almost broke one of them. Yeah. Yo, it's gonna be a long, 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 long stay. <laughs> okay, so this is the current situation. Sis Dalile U Pagisha is okay. Bella has a new suitcase, and then it's just boxes that we took out from upstairs. Injun, he's so embarrassed. Ah, yeah, Kuzum done. Yeah, so. Sikali like guys Upagisha officially um it is so you know what is lean to just zin that's in those in yeah oh to do 
Ah, sukra ala kuti ni gena utopi. Good morning, guys. I'm so to TV because my son is watching Grace's Corner and I don't want any copyrights. Good morning, you guys. Today is um, my lips feel dry. Let me just put on uh, something. Today is uh, Saturday. It's the weekend that we officially have to be out of this house. And mixed emotions we've made so many memories in this house but i guess oh guys i forgot to mention so to elizabeth arden for this i've had this eight hour cream for i think it's been almost two or more than two years ne? if i'm puzzled yes i think it's been more than two years that i've had it and in as much as by it but guys it does the things i even use it for my hands especially during winter because my hands become very dry but yeah, I'm just applying some hand lotion. This is a hand lotion. Yes, the rituals. All rituals are per um, Netherlands is like, it's like, um, it's like Avon, ne? but kind of like more expensive type of like version. Come on, it's the, those gifts, packages that you can give someone on their birthday or whatever like body wash body creams hand lotions and stuff but yeah anyways that's not what this video is about today's a saturday Mundus just woke up he's taking a shower baby and i woke up super early today i think we were up by 8 a.m we um already took a shower and then diane's baba i made and this is the this is the maize meal that I'm using, guys. For those of you who might be wondering, Nancy Lee maize meal. I bought it at Albert Hein. This is the maize meal that I'm using. It's called Fun. I don't remember how much it was, but I don't think it's more than two euros. Um, this papa kamili mili was so delicious. I added some peanut butter and butter in the porridge. It was amazing. So we had that. I fed baby. He's done. I'm just gonna give him a bit of cough syrup because I got full time too much. So I'm gonna give him a bit of um coughing syrup and then I'm gonna have to finish packing. Um so rewind. There's so much that's happened in the past week. So on Wednesday, um baby became very sick because of teething. Guys, teething is I think for me personally. Through my experience of motherhood, teething is one of the worst stages because it's so unpredictable. Your baby could be fine and then the next thing we are cool. He got sick, he was vomiting at school and also um, 
the next day or the same day rather Ipsuku, he started having diarrhea so i didn't take him to school on thursday i had to take a day's leave on thursday because i couldn't take him to school while he's vomiting and have, having diarrhea but then thursday his vomiting became better he didn't vomit on thursday thank god he, he still had diarrhea though so um i just tried to give him some tlc and um yeah that was that and then yesterday mundus had to take his bicycle to boxster which is where we're going to be staying because obviously how are we going to transport the bicycles so he had to take his bicycle to boxster so he cycled to boxster to leave his bicycle then he came back by train we are hoping my bicycle is going to fit in the car because AM doesn't have like extra accessories. AIK had that kind of like carriage thing where you can put groceries and stuff. And also it had the baby's um, seat, right? And the shield. So being Azungian and it's bigger. So um, he took that yesterday to Buxtel. Then today we are officially going to start moving like Kagusle Kagusle. We're going to take as much as we can to the place. And then we're planning to sleep there so that we can clear this place as much as we can. And we need to do Elon Rialapa. So um, we want to do all of that today and then take everything today as much as we can. So then Gomsu, we just come here to clean. Um, yeah, another thing that kept us busy this week was that we were we had to change our dresses um, via the municipality. Um, for those of you who don't know, guys in Netherlands, <laughs> it sometimes gives me. So wherever you move to, you need to inform the municipality that you are moving or else you get fined. I think it's like 300 and something euros. That is almost, that is almost, should I even mention how much it is in rands? It's almost like 6,000, if not more than that. It's almost 6,000 or even more than that. So we were like, okay, no, we, we cannot afford to have to pay that money because as nailu money. So we, we had to um, register or rather um, kind of like inform them about our change of address. So we did that. Um, yeah, basically that's what happened this week. So we are currently um, packing. I'll probably show you guys a few snippets of what we're doing, but yeah, we'll pack. Then, oh yeah, we also need to go to Eindhoven today because we're planning to go and get him we need to buy some bedding basically because we don't want to use a bedding yeah it's not that there's anything bad but i think it's just time that we get our own bedding so we're going to go and buy some bedding i'll probably take you guys with and then after getting that we'll come back i think Umutu's, when when we done when he's done showering and eating he's going to take the first load of the things then we're going to carry on packing the other stuff or I am going to carry on and he's going to carry on being problematic and being extra work. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll carry on packing and then he's going to come back and then we're probably going to go to Eindhoven and then come back, then take the last few things that we can take and then we're going to come back here tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Bye.
is doing well today i'm going to try and close off this vlog guys to be really honest and like the last time i picked up my camera was on the previous clip when we moved i've been meaning to wrap up this vlog but i <sighs> okay to be honest life with a toddler is has been showing me flames like in the bonise flames in doyo banomdana or a toddler so i just haven't had time i just can't find i couldn't find the time to just pick up my camera and have some quiet time right now he's asleep he might wake up any minute i'm trying my best to not rush closing this vlog but i also want to say as much as i can and i also want to try and just say everything that i want to say to close off this vlog but at the same time um i need to make sure that i am aware that time is of the essence but anyways let's not ramble too much let's get into it so from the last clips um we finally moved out of the previous apartment we finished moving i think after 11 p.m first of all i remember we got to the new apartment which is the apartment that we're staying in now another thing please don't mind the mess in my house right now i've got a toddler and guys toddlers are Yo, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Toddlers are really something else. Like, I clean up every day and pack up and then he just wakes up and he does his own thing. And we did the laundry the other day, so we're still trying to pack that up. And this is another point that I was actually going to get to on this video that I would really love to have a helper. Like, it's one of the things that I really, really wish I could have. But I know that it's not really possible at this point in time. Because having a helper in the Netherlands is very expensive and it would require so much of us financially, which we are not in the position right now to have, which makes me miss South Africa so much because I know we could find someone affordable who would be able to assist us. But in any case, that's not um, the whole point of this video. But the point I wanted to make is that um, we moved around 11 p.m. We got here at the new place around 12. I remember, I think we slept after 12 and... The next day we had to go to work that week was the most hectic week i think we've had since we got here because during that same week a weekend rather my son was sick i think i mentioned in the previous vlogs my son was sick i think i don't know if it's the teething or he had like a stomach bug or stomach viral infection or whatever but he had diarrhea and he was vomiting and um so i th i think that sunday we moved we finished moving the monday i remember he had a school meeting we had to attend and we were so eager you know it was our first meeting as parents but we couldn't attend it because he was sick that same monday we had to rush him to hospital because he was vomiting like so bad and it was really concerning right so we rushed him to hospital and gay okay, hospitals in the netherlands guys <laughs> They don't take things seriously like they are so chilled about everything they'll just tell you to drink paracetamol they literally believe in your body fighting like off any virus sickness or whatever infection whatever um they don't rush to give you like antibiotics and medication and whatnots and whatnots which is so different from south africa so they literally just told us that he must just get a few teaspoons of a paracetamol and we should just let him rest it out and whatever so yeah so we had to rush him to hospital that day and then um i don't know if i mentioned i've written down the things that i want to mention because i didn't want to forget anything i don't know if i mentioned in the previous clips that we managed to fix the sink that was leaking at the previous place thank god for my man my man my man my man i am so grateful for Rutemuko, guys like we managed to fin to fix the sink he fixed it rather but we helped each other basically right Cesar Tenga, whatever we needed to repair, and we repaired the sink. During all of that happening also, um, we got an email from our property agents that the person who was renting our place out um, in South Africa um, was moving out, right? Possibilities of finding another person to replace that person was very slim. So there was a high chance that we would have had to pay the bond right we have to pay the bond on the monthly basis but we would have to pay like the rental you know for the place right so um 
it was so stressful because finances were really against us. I think I mentioned in the previous clips that we had to pay like two times deposit here, then the rent, then there's all these other financial um, responsibilities that we had during that period, right? But by God's grace, the property agents found a person to rent out the place. And um, I think the person recently moved in, but we didn't have to really um, stress about the payment of the place. And then, I don't know if I also mentioned in the previous clips that the washing machine belt snapped the day we had to move out. We were doing the laundry that day and the belt snapped. I was just like, I don't know what is happening. Like I was, yo, that week, guys, that week, that week, I'll never forget that week. But yeah, it was a very stressful week for me and for us as a family. Um, during that whole process also, I remember one morning, I think it was like a couple of weeks after we moved or two weeks after we moved, I started experiencing this pain on my, like, um, what do you call it? Like my upper butt, um, close to my hip, right? Started experiencing this pain and I wasn't sure what the pain was or why it was happening i just thought maybe i didn't sleep well because we were obviously sleeping on a new bed not a new bed but a bed that we've never slept on um so i thought maybe my body was just adjusting to this new bed and maybe the bed was just uncomfortable because i'm used to a different bed but long story short guys um the pain became worse and i remember waking up one morning and um i couldn't walk like it was so bad i couldn't walk I couldn't sit properly like I literally I was immobile basically I couldn't do much yo that day I cried so much guys like I cried so much because I was just like what is happening to me and I remember that day um I had to stay with my son at home so I couldn't really do much I had to bath myself I had to bath him because I had booked um for a doctor's appointment so that the doctor could check me out and let me know what's happening with me. So I obviously had to do all of this with my son and spend the day with my son. It was so challenging. It was so tough. I regretted why I didn't let him go to daycare that day because I couldn't do anything. I struggled to walk. I struggled to bath him. I struggled to bath myself and even dress myself. And I remember crying so much and I was just like, God, what is happening? Why are you taking me through so many painful challenges you know because i was just like i've already gone through so many challenges and now this is happening like why is this happening to my body and i think the part that made me so emotional was that um i knew that if i was in south africa i would have help you know i would have family to assist us to move um at that time i didn't know that the injury was um connected to our move because um, long story short i went to the doctor and she told me that i had a uh, I don't know what they call it again, but it's a, I'll write the name down here. But it's a muscle injury that happens if maybe you carried something heavy or whatever. And worst case scenario, if your muscle tears, you might have to go to um you might have to go for surgery to repair it. But I think for me it was just I pulled a muscle rather or I strained a muscle. So I've got medication for it and I was just told to just rest basically. And long story short, I think a couple of days or like three days or four days later, I felt a bit better. So I didn't go to work those days. So, um, yo, it was a lot, guys, that week. It was a lot. Um, I was so drained emotionally, mentally, also trying to adjust to the new place. I'm actually glad that I didn't finish off this vlog the same time we moved here because... I wouldn't have had an experience of how it feels to stay here because now I can actually also share that we've been here for I think two months now and it's been it's been really interesting is it two months or is it a month and a half I think around a month and a half our stay has been quite well um, the neighbors have been very receptive and friendly towards us um, we haven't experienced any issues we just worry sometimes because our son is really noisy he's a toddler obviously so he's exploring and learning new things he's got tantrums he's got personality so you can imagine generally the toddler phase right so sometimes we get a bit worried that we might be a bit noisy or he might be noisy for the for the neighbors but we haven't received any complaints or, you know, issues so far. So we are really grateful to God. Um, during that period also, I think I missed our stability in South Africa so much. I'm so tired of moving, guys. 
I am so tired of moving like if if you know me I'm gonna share my life story soon but if you know me you'll know that I've been moving my entire life so I'm just so tired like Ndidi Wanyanyan Kumuva and I just can't wait for us one day to finally have our own home we had our home in South Africa we had a place that we could call home but then obviously due to the move we had to let that go but um, I won't lie, I missed my stability in South Africa so much during this period because I was like, we left like a proper home that had everything and now I have to start afresh and we have to do this whole thing again of moving and packing up and moving and I was so drained emotionally. I think, I, I don't think I know that I went through a phase of depression. Um, I'm in a much better place now. I think I'm, I've accepted that this is where I am right now and I just have to make do with what I have. And I think also I've just come to a place where I've just tried to teach myself a good tea. I just need to, I need to work with, with what I have and I need to accept that this is where I am. I'm not saying that I'm, I'm okay now with being here and everything is all good, but it's a process, right? Like you don't just become okay overnight, but it's going to take time. But I think the first step that I needed to take was to accept that this is where I am and then obviously we'll work ourselves forward through time right so um yeah I really miss South Africa also the whole thing of I know in South Africa that there's a guy that helps us move so this time we didn't have that we had to literally do everything by ourselves and clean the new apartment and come here and clean this apartment you guys it's been a journey it's been a journey um yeah i'm so grateful to god that we have just come to a place where we've settled about the place um i i'm really grateful that we have a roof of our head right but i also really am looking forward to without taking away from being present in this moment and embracing where i am right now but i honestly can't wait for us to move into a an unfurnished apartment so that we can literally build our own place or make our place look the way that we want it and also kind of like rent kind of like create the house into a home the way that we want to create it because obviously we moved into a furnished apartment and guys a sense of style <laughs> yeah Lomdu, who owns this apartment it's too much too much um so sometimes i do feel like oh and I'm one of those people, my surroundings and my home really affects, you know, my mood and how I feel, especially being that I'm a homebody. I love being at home. I love spending time in my home. So that's why I always invest a lot into how homely my home feels. That's why I'm one of those people. I really invest a lot into my home because I want to make sure that the space that I spend most of my time in is beautiful. It's, it's, it's. It's just comfortable and I enjoy it, right? So, yeah, being here, there's just been a lot, <laughs> a lot of change that I wish we could make, but we can't. But we've just accepted that this is where we are for now. We'll make the most of it. And um, in God's time, God willing, once we are able to find our own place, we can start afresh and create our home the way we want it to be. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share, guys. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for being so supportive and so present into our lives. We really are grateful to have um, a community, you know, backing us up, supporting us, being there to listen to us, you know. We share these experiences because we want to show people the reality of the lives that we live. And, you know, that sometimes it's really challenging. Sometimes it's it's not easy, especially for us, being that it's our first time relocating outside our country, outside our continent, you know. And this is the journey that we are on. These are the experiences that we're going through, you know. So, yeah, guys, that's basically, right? It, yeah, that's what I wanted to share. I'm going to close this vlog off now. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet, please do so. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any videos um, that I post in future. And let's interact in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video. Um, I'd really appreciate if you guys could do that and I'll catch you guys in the next video.